Here's a ball bearing Gen 2 6062 that we did a rebuild on and we also had to upgrade it in order to fix it. So pretty much what happened here is the cage went bad and the turbine wheel was also bad so we had to replace the center cartridge and the turbine wheel and the bearing cage. We also had to replace the front seal plate to match the GT37R bearing housing. The turbine wheel that we used in this was a GT37R turbine which measures 64.5 by 74. The wheel itself is the same as a P-trim turbine. So this is now a 6065. We had to change a lot of these parts because it's not very easy to get the ball bearing cage that was originally in this turbo. I really didn't like the original cage that's in the Gen 2s anyway. I just don't think they're really that reliable because it's not really a good press fit that and in that case it causes issues if you have play between the bearing inner race and the shaft then the cage is not usable and a lot of people forget to check for that but anyway so the gen 1 has the press fit shaft and the cage which is the same as the Garrett GT37R and then we changed over the plate because the gen 2 has a different thrust collar which uses the same seal as the big shaft and a collar to match. Okay, there you go. Yep, go. Dang, that thing spins like crazy. And kind of just like, you know, rock it back and forth and stuff. Yeah, so you can get the sun in it. There you go. That looks good. If you want to learn more about the Precision Ball Bearing Turbos, you can check out my other videos such as Precision 6262 Gen 1 Gen 2 Ball Bearing Rebuild Kit and 6262 Gen 1 versus Gen 2 Turbo Differences. This build is a little bit complicated. The turbine housing does require machining. However, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can always contact us for the parts or the service if you want us to do that for you at turbolabamerica at gmail.com.